there was a slight error on the last video. Um, on the landing screen here, uh, in the components, where it says this uh, props that switch screen, I had screen here, which is not matching up with landing or search, so nothing was popping up. If you switch this to search and then you hit the button, it'll take you to a page that's not just completely blank like the last one was, but one that has a little search text written up in the corner here. I think I might have noticed it in the last video, but I was like, oh, it might be a, a loading issue. But definitely make sure that you have search here instead of screen, so that way uh, you know our routing is working properly. Now, what we can do uh, in this video is, you know, basically we have the landing and the app done. We just need to start working on the search, and that's really the most complex part of this app, right? That that's where we're going to be doing a lot of searching for Pokemon and reaching out to the internet uh, using a uh, the Pokemon REST API, which we'll get into in another video. For this part, we're going to start um, messing with some styles and getting that up to speed. So go ahead and take out this text from the view. Uh, what we're going to want to do is we're going to style this up a little bit. We're just going to put a flex inline right here, flex one style, because we're going to want this view to take up the entire screen. Uh, the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to import some stuff from the native base library. Um, and the things you're going to want to import are header, uh, item, icon, uh, you're going to want an inputs, and a button. So those five items we're going to want to import from native base, just like this. Now, what is a header exactly? Well, I think I have an example here. Um, yeah, so right here, header. Uh, basically, it's like a simple iOS or Android header. Uh, looks pretty nice. Um, they, they did a really good job styling it. And we're just going to like utilize the native base component right out of the box. Um, they list here some of the props that come with header, but uh, you know if you, if you want to go to the documentation, I do encourage you to look at it on Native Base's website. But for the most part, I'm going to be covering what exactly uh, which props we're going to be passing in, so you don't have to look at that just right now. So inside here, go ahead and place your header tag. And actually, this is not going to be a self-closing tag. Sometimes headers can be self-closing. In this case, we're going to make it. Uh, an opening and closing header tag. This is actually going to be a pretty big header for the most part. It's going to have a lot of stuff inside. So right here, we're going to want to expand this out because we're going to pass a couple things into this header. Um, the first one is search bar. And we want to set this equal to true because we're obviously going to have a search bar in the header you know, to search Pokemon. Um, one thing I will add, you don't have to have this equal true here. Um, as long as you're just passing in search bar just like this, if it's a Boolean value, so a true or false that you're trying to get across, you don't have to specify true or false necessarily. Just having a search bar in there will set it automatically to true. And the other thing we want is rounded, which basically makes... Um, the the header look a little bit nicer. Uh, if you look at some of the props, there you know here's rounded, here's search bar. It basically these are set props with the native base component that we're just taking advantage of. It's going to make things look a little bit nicer. In fact, I think if you reload right now the page, you'll actually see um, the header on the screen. It's starting to to look a little bit nicer on. Android, it probably looks a little bit nicer than iOS. iOS is just pretty blank for the most part. And you notice when I re when I saved this and refreshed it, I had to click the button to get to this landing page. Let's go ahead and get take care of that right now. Um, what we can do is we can just set our current screen to search while we're programming this so that it loads up on the search page. We don't have to just keep clicking the button every single time. Inside of this header, we're going to have a few items, literally and figuratively. Um, we want an item tag. Uh, the item tag with native base is basically just another kind of a, a divider. It's sort of like a view tag. Um, they have a few of them. Uh, just know that it's it's something that helps you configure like smaller components inside of uh, you know a larger component like a header. So we're going to say item, and this is going to be an opening and closing tag like so. And inside of item, we're going to place an icon. And icons are self-closing. Icon takes a few natural props. The first uh, prop is name and what name is is basically we can even look at the icon component right here name is basically what name of the icon we want so if we wanted the pizza icon we'd have to specify pizza uh, where the name prop goes so um, we could just say in here something called iOS search just like that now you're probably wondering where am I getting some of these names um, 
native base is grabbing them from something called the React Native Vector Icons Library. Uh, it's basically a library on NPM that you can get. It has over 3,000 icons, um, and we're using a special set of the Ionicons. Um, native base just comes with this naturally, so you don't have to do any, uh, you know, programming to get this icon library in like you would have to do if you're doing um, you know something like vanilla react native without native base uh, luckily it comes in uh, for us we don't have to do any extra programming the second thing you're gonna want is an on press on this iOS search and we're going to say this dot search pokey keep it a little bit shorter and just up here we'll say search pokey we're just gonna make this an empty function right now it's not gonna do anything I just wanna make sure you have an on press here so we don't have to add it in later the next thing we're gonna want is uh, I'll actually bring up my phone here I can save this and we'll, we'll, we'll take a look at how this is looking right now um, yeah so now we have a nice little search bar here we have a search icon it's starting to look pretty nice we definitely want to get an input in here now make sure this is capitalized Input's going to be a self-closing tag, but we're going to have to open this up because there's quite a few props in here. The first, um, we're going to we're going to have to make a state soon, but we're going to set a value equal to this dot state dot pokey search. So similar to how we've done input in the past, basically we tie it to the state uh, for any type of uh, action. So if we're changing the the text, we want to tie it to the state so that way we can access it when we try and grab that text later. So inside the state, we're just going to say pokey search and set that equal to some empty quotes right there. Now we're also going to give it a placeholder value, which basically just means we want something sitting in there uh, telling the person what they should do. And in this case, we're going to say search Pokemon. And then right after that, we're going to have that on change text just like this. Here, actually, before we do that, let me save this and show you what happens if we don't have that. So this is looking a little off right now. It says search Pokemon on the side here. Um, that's because it's not it's not totally how we want it. Yeah, it's, we're, we're getting there. Just, just, uh, just hang on with that. Actually, the reason why is because I had to put this input inside the item. I didn't do that yet. But basically, we have an input box and uh, search Pokemon. That's our placeholder. So that's sitting there. But if I were to start, if I tried like typing in here right now, I'm trying to type on the app right now, nothing's happening. It's because the state is not changing, uh, not allowing us to type basically. It's constantly keeping uh, whatever's inside that input at just a quote like that. And we'll go ahead and add in this on change text right now so that anytime somebody starts typing inside of our input, we can set the pokey search equal to the uh, the new text and we can do this obviously with a function and then set state tie this in with pokey search where you're going to use that es6 ability to just say pokey search pokey search like that and then let's copy this out real quick and and put this back inside the item uh, i think that's the one thing we were missing that's why we we're getting the input on the outside there so if we save this up it'll reload the component and this looks a lot nicer now we now we actually hit, can type inside the search bar up here looks a lot better now, um, video is getting a little long, so we're going to stop it here and we'll continue off uh, with where we are going in the next video.